Come in. Hello, Ben. Everything ready? All in order. Just your signature here, and the property is yours. Everything just like you specified. Count it. Oh, that's not necessary. Count it. Your receipt. And the uh, quit claim deed. Signed and dated. Have a notary. Witness's signature. I'll pick it up later. I'll have it here by 3 o'clock. Oh, Ben. It's always a pleasure to do business with the Cartwrights. 3 o'clock. Take care of my horse, all right? Yes, sir. Stable right out back. Uh, be with us long, sir? Oh, a couple of nights, I guess. Well, one of my, uh, my sons will be uh, arriving here sometime tomorrow. Oh, yes, sir. One reserve room for Wednesday. Uh, right this way, Mr. Cartwright. Langley out. Well, ain't you heard? Heard what? About him being robbed and shot. No, I, I didn't hear that. Is he hurt bad? He's still living, barely. Do you have business with him? Yeah. When did this happen? Sometime last night. Last night?
at least you look like you feel poorly. Oh, doctor, I, I feel worse than I felt in a long time. <laughs> Don't take a doctor to see why. No, I, not from drinking. I, I got, got a lump in my head somewhere. And oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Like sit a, down, a fever. sit down. Here's a man for you, stoic. Oh, you got a lump there. Where'd you get it? I, I don't know. That's so, not a drop, huh? No, not a drop. A fight, maybe? No, I don't think so. Well, you put cold compresses on the swelling, take this powder I mix for you. See how you feel in the morning. You staying in town? Yeah, I'm at the hotel. Well, you check with me in the morning. That'll be a dollar. Oh. Thank you. It's open. Don't suppose you're shopping for a hat? No, ma'am. Men usually don't. I am uh, shopping for information. Well, there's not much goes on in Mountain City. I don't know something about it. Gives the old bitty eyes in the back of her head, they say. But I don't give a hoot what they say. Well, ma'am, I was... I was wondering if... Maybe you'd seen somebody... Anybody... Going up to Mr. Langley's office last night. I saw you go in. Around midnight. There's no doubt about that? No. That was the second time. First time was yesterday around noon. Of course, you knew that already. Was there something else you wanted to know? No, ma'am. I guess that's it. I... Well, yes, there's one more thing. What day is this? I mean, what day of the week? Don't take no mirror to know that one. Wednesday. Been Wednesday all day. sort of bother you. I, uh, Mr. Langley was handling a land deal for me, and I used to have a, a deed notarized. You're Mr. Cartwright? Yes, yes. I was, I was wondering uh, it's about the quick claim deed. Yeah, it's too bad about Langley. But everything was in order. He came over here with it, and I notarized his signature, and he went away with it. When was that? Well, yesterday, of course. Yesterday afternoon. 
Everything was in order, I'm sure of that. Yes, I, I'm sure it was. Medicine, drink it. Oh, what's on your mind this time? It's what isn't on my mind that's bothering me. If you got a point to make, make it. Well, there are things that I can't remember. A man gets a concussion. Sometimes that happens. How long could that go on? Depends. How long a time you're wondering about? A day. Mm. You uh, figure you lost a whole day somewhere? Is that it? Maybe. Oh, that's a long time. But it is possible. Anything's possible. I seen it a time or two. Man couldn't remember anything, where he'd been, what he'd done. It's also possible a good night's sleep could clear up the whole thing. Headache, remembering, everything. Well, hope for that. feeling this morning, Paul? Well, headache's gone, mostly. I still can't remember a thing. Except Langley's face. Well, you surely don't believe you shot him. I don't know. <laughs> I 
I guess I disliked Sid Langley more than any man I've ever known. Well, that still don't mean you shot him. Well, somebody shot him. That's a fact. Somebody shot him. That, that look on his face, that mortal fear, that, that, that was real, that happened. Paul, oh, you're not just about ever convinced me that you shot Mr. Langley. Boss, I hated his guts. Well, we all did when he lived in Virginia City, but well, we didn't shoot him. I maybe had more reason. And it's been long enough for it to fester and go into something big and ugly. It's a possibility. I just have to face that. It's a possibility. Maybe I don't understand. Well, there was a girl, young girl, pretty as a flower. You remember Langley? Always had a way with women. Only this one was different. When he was through with her, she hanged herself one day. I remember. And Langley talked about it a lot after that, like it was some kind of a joke. Like she was a, another trophy to hang from his belt. Only she used a closet door instead. Every time after that, every time I'd, I'd sight down on a coyote or a wolf, I, I'd see Langley's face. Sighting down on a man's a whole lot different, Paul. You, you'll just never convince me that shoot the man just ain't your way. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, that makes that long ride worthwhile. You flustered her. You think so? Ain't you gonna eat? No, I'm, I'm not. Terribly sorry. She sure upset about something. It's like a we, we've met before somewhere. You know, why'd she be afraid of you? I went through Sid Langley's files and desk. I got the list right here. Transfer papers, no receipt, no deeds. The deeds got to be there. No, not even a nickel of cash. Well, it's of no value to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Well, now that is a puzzlement, ain't it? Unless maybe it could have been grabbed up by mistake. Yeah. But like you say, the only value would have it be to you Cartwrights. Unless there's something you ain't telling me. What do you mean by that? Oh, you just hold on. He's got an awful lot of you in him, Ben. You always were a contentious man. And what's that supposed to mean? You just don't remember me, do you? Uh-huh. I rode out to your neck of the woods once. I wanted to buy a herd. It was up for auction. Wanted to start a ranch. You got the herd. You had the cash. I didn't. Always remember that every time I hear your name. Well, I made bids on any number of herds in my time. Ain't got them all, too, I bet. But I've got Sid Langley in back here. And he almost comes around every now and then. Would you mind stepping in there with me? You're keeping a wounded man in jail? But now you, Cartwright, are just going to have to get used to the idea that this is a poor town. No hospitals, nothing fancy. We just kind of make do. Right this way.
Thank you, sir. Langley. Do you hear me, Langley? Do you hear me? I've got somebody here I want you to see. Thank you, Mr. Cartwright. Better fetch Doc Penner. It's too bad. For a moment there, I thought he was going to come out of it. Tell us Ben Cartwright put a bullet in him. What about those fences, Paul? Oh, it's right now. I don't even know if we own the land. Well, we're going to have to do something. That sheriff ain't even going to take his eyes off your shadow. There's one thing I can do. Wait. Yeah. Well, we might as well make our horses comfortable. Hey! Hey! What are you doing down there? Right at the moment, we're dodging. <laughs> no consideration anymore. You're talking about us or yourself? You come for your horses before I get the hay pits down. I ain't doing this for nothing, you know. Well, we're going to make you mighty happy. We're not going to take our horses out just yet. I'd like you to curry them down and board them for a couple more days. Curry them? That'd tire a man out, the way you bring a horse back. Bring him back when? Like the first night you were here, stiff with cold sweat, muddy. That ain't no way to treat an animal. You sure you're talking about me? An old hawk's got better eyes than a young'un. It still doesn't mean anything. I don't know what I did. Where'd you put my saddlebags? Over there on that there sawhorse. You looking for anything in particular? Indeed. I'll take that, if you don't mind. begin to fit right in place. Mrs. Melody says you went in and out of Sid Langley's office late that night. Next morning, he's found shot. And then that deed. The deed that don't mean anything but to a Cartwright, as you pointed out yourself, turns up in your saddlebags. Anybody in town could have put that there. And then the stable man says you took your horse out that very same night. You ride anywhere in particular? He didn't say he rode at all. I'd appreciate it if you let him answer for himself. No recollections. Uh, I didn't think there would be. Well, what about the gun it was you, Sheriff? Did you check Poe's gun? There's no need. It was Langley's own gun. The only puzzlement is, why would Ben Cartwright, with all the money in the world, shoot Sid Langley for a few thousand dollars? Now, that is a puzzlement. Not free to walk out of here, Sheriff. Yep. I just wouldn't walk too far. You understand? I understand. 
Uh, Mr. Cartwright. I understand you know Zena Harris pretty well. I don't know her at all. Was that a fact? Thank you, Mr. Cartwright. How's your headache? Comes and goes. How do you figure the sheriff? Boy, I, I think he's letting you run on a long rope. He's got a job to do. I think you're being too big-minded about it. He's just waiting for a motive. Like having known Langley before. Right, and the rest, and especially the rest. You know, it's a strange thing. Isn't that cell looking down at Langley line there? All I could do is just feel sorry for him. Look, Paul, we still got a little time before the sheriff comes up with something we're not expecting. If you don't want to go with me, why don't I ride on back and get little Joe and bring him here? No, I wouldn't want that. Well, can you think of a way he'd rather have it? I, I seem to be spending half my time getting in your way. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, vice versa. <laughs> haven't, haven't we met somewhere before? Oh, no. No, I don't think so. Well, goodbye. Miss Harris. I thought we might have a little talk. About what? Well, I don't like chatting out here in the street. You mind if we go to my office? I guess not. It's too bad about Sid Langley. Yes, how is he? Not good. You and Sid Langley got to be good friends when you first rode in here, as I remember. Yes, I suppose we were. Folks suppose you were more than good friends. Is this what you wanted to chat about? Sit down. been shot and robbed. A man that you carried on with. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I expect a few answers. Then ask them. What about Ben Cartwright? What about him? Well, you and Sid Langley broke off must be two months ago now. And Ben Cartwright can buy and sell a Sid Langley every day for a year. I never knew Mr. Cartwright until he rode into this town two days ago. You didn't know Sid Langley either until you rode into this town. Now, if you want to play Little Miss Righteous, you better learn to live up to the name. Do you have any more questions? Just one. Did Ben Cartwright ever pay any social visits out to your place? No. Is that all? What's got her upset? He dying us? Not the last time I looked. You been up to something? Just trying to fit in the pieces, that's all. You'd have been a good surgeon. You got a feel for carving people up. You figure that girl and Cartwright are in cahoots? Well, you look at it this way. 
You mix two men like Langley and Cartwright with a pretty girl. Man, you're just not surprised when somebody ends up like him in there. What about the robbery? Cartwright doesn't fit into that part. Yeah. Well, I suppose. Uh... Make it look good. Make it look like somebody else. Why haven't you put him in the other cell? You wait at assault lick long enough, and you're bound to get what you want. It's just patience, Doc. Patience. I just seem to remember this house and what's the matter? Would you like to come inside? No. No. I would just find a sitting right here. I got some hot broth on the stove. Would you like some? Fine, thank you. No, a man gets so wound up in his own troubles, he, he forgets about the little things in life which make it all worthwhile. A quiet place like this, and pretty young lady, and, and some good hot broth. I like it here. But I'll be leaving one of these days. Are you fixing to move on? Some place in particular? No, just places I've never seen before. Wear nice clothes, eat at a table with linen and silver. <laughs> Sounds silly. No, doesn't sound silly. It's just that I've never done any of those things. Never had a family. I had a husband once, when I was very young. Touch and scene for two strangers. What do you want? You. You're under arrest. For what? Murder. Sid Langley died a half hour ago. A little midnight visit you paid to Sid Langley's office. I didn't pay any visit. You were seen. I'm sorry, Miss Aries. I 
I figure you might have a few things you'd like to say. That's the way it's been. Little bits and pieces. Things I know happened, and I, I just can't seem to put them together. Well, at least it's a start. I'm afraid that's about all it is. Well, Pa. What are you doing here? He joined us when we were about halfway here, Pa. Didn't give us much choice. You shouldn't be here. Would you have stayed away? What is it? I was riding here. There's a storm that come up. And then the tree limb broke off and, and hit me. Uh, don't you remember anymore? No, I don't remember anymore. I'm going to try to help you remember all of it. Cartwright. As far as you go, boys. What do you figure on finding up there? I'm just prospecting for the truth. You Cartwrights can't object to that, can you? It'll be all right, boys. Upstairs. Now, Zena, will you repeat, for Mr. Cartwright's benefit, the story you told me? Zena. I was here that night, talking to Sid. Mr. Cartwright came in. He and Sid, Mr. Langley, they argued. Go on. They started fighting. Somehow, there was a gun. All of it. And Mr. Cartwright shot him. There's your truth from an eyewitness. It could have happened that way. It did happen that way. That's a real truth of it. Murder's murder. Whether a man claims he can't remember is immaterial. It all fits. People saw you coming and going. All your money isn't going to buy you out of this one. I'm going to see you hang the almighty Mr. Ben Cartwright. And all over a pretty woman. You and Langley fighting over her like a couple of ranch hands on a payday drunk.
lot of money. I was laughing. And you were... You were standing over there. That's the way it was. The last couple of days must have been as difficult for you as they were for me. If there's any minute, I could have remembered that you shot him. It's a lie. No. That's the way it was. You hate me as much as you hated him. As if, if the jury and the court and the sheriff believe your story, they'll hang me. Is that what you want? You have had two men that you have killed. I didn't want to kill anybody. I didn't mean to. Hell. <laughs> he promised to marry me. I gave him all the money I had. And later, he just laughed. Totally to mark it up to experience. I came here that night. All the money was lying on the desk. He taunted me, and we argued, and I shot him. I don't know how it happened, but I shot him. You were there, days, not even knowing who you were. All I could think of was saving myself. Later, when you followed me out to my place, I put the deed in your saddlebags. Take care of yourself. That's the only lesson I ever remember being taught. <laughs> 